LNAI is the actual OpenAI. They have yet again released a family of models which is most ridiculously open model family on the planet. Most companies drop weights and call it a day, but not LNAI. They have released everything, the full 32 billion checkpoint for both variants, all the training code, every log, the complete Dolma 3 pre-training data set, every Dolce post-training example, and the exact scripts for supervised fine-tuning, DPO, and reinforcement learning with verifiable rewards. To top it off, it is Apache 2 licensed, fully reproducible from scratch. This isn't just open weight. This is open everything. Zero gatekeeping, science on full display, madness. And I really, really applaud LNAI for that. In this video, we are going to test it out thoroughly to see what exactly this new thinking variant is. I already have done the local installation of their previous version, which was just released, I guess, three weeks ago. So if you're interested in installing it locally and checking it out, what's the process, how much VRAM it consumes, just go to my channel, search with Olmo3, and you will be able to watch this first video. By the way, I have been covering these Olmo models and other tooling from LNAI for a long, long time from day one. Everyone knows about it except LNAI, but anyway, such is life. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and please consider becoming a member because that is what helps a lot. Also, please follow me on X. If you are looking for AI updates without any hype and fluff. Okay, now let's start by testing out this model. So I am already on their hosted platform, which is playground.lnai.org and I will drop the link in video's description. From this drop down, I already have selected the thinking model. You can go with their instruct variant and 3.1 is the one we are going to test out. So first up, I am giving it this prompt where I am asking it to create me a standalone self-contained HTML file that simulates an advanced drone command center where we also have a futuristic drone um, primitive which is called copter in the middle of the screen. So let's see what exactly it does. And I'll just expand this thinking because it really, really is always so fascinating. And look at the thinking, it is understanding it and then it is going from there. The models are really evolving very, very nicely. Now, while it does it, and I will let it think and just apply the chain of thought, let's talk more around this model. So look, at its core, the model is a classic decoder-only transformer. With 32 billion parameters, as I said, it uses rope embedding, sweet glue activation, so nothing really wild architecturally. It's all run off the mill. What makes the think variant special is the training recipe. You see, um, this is how they have trained the overall process. They have taken the world data. They pre-trained a model from scratch. So if you click on it, you see that this is what it does. The cool thing is you can view the model weights from this stage and you can view the data from this stage. And this is the data, Dolma 3, and they have put it in on every stage which they have used. Then they have done the mid training where, you know, on top of that world training, they have again done some focused heavy data training to just uh, optimize the capabilities a bit more. And from there, it just transitions into the post training area where this is where they have extended the context window. And then this thread goes for the instruct and the second one is for thinking one. Now, for example, you see, that for thinking first they did supervised fine tuning where they just uh, took the um, you know question instruct instruction prompt following instruction following pair and then after that they just refined the thinking they aligned it with direct preference optimization the human preferences and from there the chain of thought was done with reinforcement learning with verifiable rewards to sharpen the reasoning. They also have done this RL0, which is pretty interesting where this RL was done with zero post training. How cool is that? 
but i think we will go with this one because this is really really cool the metal one and that is what we are testing here so it seems that it is still thinking so thinking is huge and now it is writing the code and i think it already has done one refinement and one review so again i mean i really can't stress it enough that this is really gold and especially this data set and all the steps which they have mentioned and you can check it out on their model card where you see they have released everything and you can just download the stage and even carry it from there so they have open sourced the entire pipeline every repo every data set every hyperparameter you can literally literally rebuild this model yourself you can even tweak the reward function or continue training it tonight no block uh, black boxes or no you know missing pieces at all so pretty cool and let's go down to see what is happening so i will let it finish and then i will open this code in the browser and it has finished producing the code let me open it in the browser this is what it looks like already looks amazing let me reload it to make sure everything looks good there you go so first up i'm going to press <coughs> z so this is a home or maybe i will just click first on the screen there you go so as soon as i have clicked it is showing me the landmarks you see these are the station these are the hospital it is scanning on the bottom so this is what i asked it to do there is also a trail so i also asked it to do the trail let me click on uh, key z because on the le left top there are controls yes it can zoom and then let's do uh, maybe i will say let it do the uh, i'm just pressing three here you see the blinking lights turn to red because it's an emergency and then i clicked here again and now i press two it is now doing the delivery it is moving around and the drone primitive looks quite good and it is moving around let me do letter t so this is thermal how good is that can't believe and as soon as you click it starts scanning pretty cool now let's see if i press h does it go back to home or not there you go so i pressed h and it has gone back to home this is really amazing this is the first try it has done under, un, done under for, you know wonderfully well <clears throat> i mean i'm so so impressed by it that i have even you know forgot how to speak so again h it is going back to home so i could play with it whole day you, you see first try and what world, world class code it has produced very impressive okay next up let's test out the multilinguality so i'm just going to go with the instruct version in this one and it says it also allows tool calling that is fine i'm not enabled maybe i'll en en enable it for the sake of it so the prompt is that a world renowned chef who speaks fluent french and indonesian has opened a new restaurant in marrakesh morocco the restaurant's menu features dishes inspired by korean indian and middle eastern cuisine and then descriptions are in arabic hebrew hindi polish and persian the chef's turkish business partner has invited a group of russian nigerian and pakistani investors to try the, the restaurant's signature dish and then it needs to write a review in english including translation of the menu and quote from chef in french let's see how it tackles that task so there you go model is quite good and look at the review so this is what i wanted to check out not only multilinguality but how it crafts the story so let it finish we'll review together so looking at this review i think it has done good look at the language nestled in the heart of marrakesh vibrant medina which is city i guess the newly opened marrakesh fusion is already creating waves as one of the city's most daring innovative dining destination so the language is clear also it is fluent it is blending into one sentence into another the transition is quite seamless and you see the restaurant is a celebration of global flavor so the selection of words is also quite good then it says menu without border so it understands the multi nationality and then it talks about all the languages and i would need your help if 
you can understand arabic hebrew hindi and all these languages please let me know what do you think and this is the translation again in english too cool and then this is some indian dish plus you know with korean kimchi and amazing so i never thought of it and then lamb rogan josh four so it, i think vietnamese with some uh, pakistani food then it talks about chef's vision and then some russian here this is the nigerian yoruba language and then urdu and pakistani it i'm not sure if it has written it right uh, but it's, it's fine takhlikat i don't know if it's a word but anyway i think it has done wonderfully well it's not perfect but i think it is very very impressive okay and it has even given it a rating interesting okay let's do a quick creative writing i'm asking it to write me sentence ending with the word happy so yep how you know models have come a long way just few months back when i used to ask the same questions from these models they would just struggle they would miss three or four but now look at this one not only it follows the prompt and gives me the sentences ending with happy but also the sentences are coherent too okay let's do one final math test and after this math test i'm also going to do one final um, tool calling test too but for now let's do it i'm just going to go with the thinking one that suits with the math questions so the question is uh, it's quite challenging i'll just remove this consider a neural network with l layers where layer l has an n neuron so it is quite um, cryptic and it also really really tests out brutally its thinking mechanism because it goes deep into gradients and then some vanishing gradient problem why they vanish these are the activation and lot of other stuff so let's see what it does i'm very keen to see how it thinks so it is understanding the problem and then it is doing divide and conquer with the chain of thought and you see that it is structuring it it is formulating the response it is it has identified the starting point and then it has dived right in there you go always very fascinating to check out and then it is going about alternatives checking different alternatives maybe doing some rewards and then verifying them and then model is learning and it will at a very high level simple word it is going to go with the answer with the highest reward so let's wait for it to print what it does and then we will see what the answer is and it has produced the answer i'm not going to bore you with lot of mathematical details i have just gone through it i think that the answer is mathematically rigorous and quite comprehensive because it has correctly derived the back propagation gradient using the chain rule it it has also handled relu non differentiability by convention and also accurately explains the vanishing gradient problem with sigmoid activation i'm just scrolling through if you're interested you can check it out there are few minor inconsistencies for example uh, the you know there is a contradiction of assuming activation but i think it's quite reasonable i'm not going to nitpick okay let me finally show you uh, how you can do the tool call tool call is only supported with the instruct variant select it enable um, this tool calling click on add or edit tools these are some predefined tools which you can use or you can define your own tool and that's a standard json format for example um, i just clicked on get stock index this is the name of the tool description and these are the parameters it is going to return whenever you ask a natural language question it will map the tool and then it will extract these parameters like uh, what is the stock index and then some enum what exactly in that and few other parameters that it is required i'll just click on save and i'll ask it what is the stock price for maybe who is the maybe let's go with microsoft okay so it says that okay so api api is not available and i'll it says i can only retrieve closing values for majors okay i'll just say okay 
retrieve closing value for NASDAQ. There you go. Now it has triggered that function. It is asking me, you know, the tool, enter the tool response here. And once <clears throat> I have entered that uh, box value, you see, it has given me some of the response here, which is a total JSON response. I think what model is doing in terms of tool is correct. We just have to attach it to the actual API because <clears throat> in tool calling workflows, the model generates a tool call and then it pauses, uh, waits for the external system to execute the tool and return the result and that is what it is doing. But I think uh, it is just going in a lot of tools, so I will just bought it. I think this could be improved maybe. Because not only it is calling the tool which I defined, but also maybe it is going with the papers. But anyway, other than this, I think it has performed quite well. Let me know what do you think. Again, please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member. Please also follow me on XS that helps. Thank you for all the support.